Have you ever wondered why some people perceive reality differently from others, or why they might struggle with social interactions? Could it be a personality disorder? Welcome to our exploration of Schizotypal Personality Disorder, or SPD, a condition characterized by a pervasive pattern of odd beliefs, unusual perceptions, and social deficits. Unlike what many might assume, SPD is not the same as schizophrenia. While both conditions share a disconnect from reality, SPD differs significantly by the absence of frank psychotic symptoms such as delusions or hallucinations. Individuals with SPD often demonstrate behaviors and thought patterns that may seem peculiar or eccentric to others, but they do not experience the full-blown psychosis seen in schizophrenia. This is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to understanding SPD. This disorder has a wide range of traits and varies significantly in severity from person to person. Understanding SPD begins with recognizing its key traits. Let's delve deeper into these peculiarities. Opening. The first three traits of schizotypal personality disorder or SPD revolve around a person's beliefs and perceptions. Firstly, let's delve into ideas of reference. Individuals with SPD often perceive unrelated events or objects as having personal significance. Imagine walking down the street and noticing a red car. Most people would just see a red car, but someone with SPD might interpret it as a hidden message or threat. They might think, red signifies danger, so something bad is going to happen to me. This is how ideas of reference can distort one's perception of reality. Secondly, we have odd beliefs or magical thinking. This trait is characterized by a strong conviction in superstitions, paranormal phenomena, or occult experiences. People with SPD may believe in the power of charms or the influence of the moon on their mood. They might interpret dreams as prophetic or hold unshakable beliefs in certain omens or signs. While these beliefs may seem odd to others, to those with SPD, they're an integral part of understanding and navigating their world. Next, there are unusual perceptual experiences. This trait involves fleeting sensory illusions or distorted perceptions. For example, someone with SPD might feel disembodied, as if they're observing their own actions from an outsider's perspective. Or they might sense the presence of an absent person, feeling as though someone is there with them, even when they're alone. These perceptual experiences, while unusual, are part of the reality for individuals with SPD. To sum up, these traits highlight how SPD affects an individual's beliefs and perceptions. Ideas of reference make unrelated events seem personally significant, odd beliefs or magical thinking lead to strong convictions in superstitions and paranormal phenomena, and unusual perceptual experiences result in sensory illusions or distorted perceptions. Closing. These traits highlight the unique ways individuals with SPD perceive and interpret the world around them. The next cluster of SPD traits relates to social interactions and emotional responses. Let's first talk about odd speech and behavior. These individuals often use vague or ambiguous language, which can make it difficult for others to understand their thoughts or intentions. Their behaviors can also be considered eccentric. They might have unusual daily rituals or dress in ways that might strike others as peculiar. Then there's the trait of social anxiety and awkwardness. This isn't your typical nervousness before a presentation or a date. For those with SPD, social situations can cause significant discomfort and apprehension, often leading to avoidance. This can result in isolation and withdrawal from social activities, further impacting their ability to form and maintain relationships. This brings us to the next trait, the lack of close relationships. Individuals with SPD often have few or no close friends or confidants. This isn't because they don't want companionship, but rather due to the difficulties they face in initiating or maintaining relationships. Their unusual behaviors and anxieties can make it challenging to form meaningful connections with others. Lastly, we come to the trait of flat or inappropriate emotional responses. Those with SPD might show limited emotional expressiveness, which can make them seem detached or indifferent. At times, they may also display incongruent emotions in certain situations. For instance, they might laugh at a sad news story or show no reaction to something that would typically evoke strong emotions. Together, these traits paint a picture of the social and emotional challenges faced by those with SPD. 
Imagine living in a world where social interactions are a source of constant anxiety, where forming close relationships is a Herculean task, and where your emotional reactions often don't match the situation. These traits demonstrate the significant social and emotional challenges faced by individuals with SPD. While SPD is a complex disorder, it's essential to remember a few key points. We've spent time unpacking the traits and characteristics of Schizotypal Personality Disorder or SPD, but let's circle back to some important notes that help frame our understanding of this condition. Firstly, SPD is not the same as schizophrenia. It's a common misconception, but while some traits may seem similar, SPD is distinguished by the absence of full-blown psychotic symptoms like delusions or hallucinations. So while individuals with SPD might exhibit unusual perceptions or experiences, they do not lose touch with reality in the way someone with schizophrenia might. Secondly, it's important to remember that SPD is a spectrum disorder. This means the severity of symptoms can vary significantly across individuals. Some people may experience milder forms of odd beliefs or unusual perceptions, while others might face more intense challenges. This spectrum nature of SPD underscores the diversity and complexity of the disorder. Next, diagnosis. It's crucial to stress that only qualified mental health professionals can diagnose SPD. If you or someone you know exhibits traits of SPD, it's essential to seek help from a professional. A comprehensive assessment and a series of interviews are typically involved in the diagnostic process. Self-diagnosis or diagnosing others without professional training can lead to misunderstanding and potentially harmful consequences. Now let's talk about treatment. Management of SPD symptoms can involve various strategies like therapy, medication, and support groups. Cognitive behavioral therapy, for instance, can help individuals better understand and manage their symptoms. Medication can also be effective in some cases, especially when dealing with co-occurring conditions like depression or anxiety. Support groups can provide a sense of community and understanding which is often beneficial for those dealing with SPD. Lastly, we must approach individuals with SPD with empathy and respect. These individuals are navigating a world that can often feel overwhelming and confusing. It's essential that we avoid stigmatizing or judging them for their experiences and instead foster understanding and acceptance. Remember, SPD is a complex personality disorder, and individuals experiencing these symptoms deserve access to professional support and understanding.